In this video, I'm going to show you how and where you can use expiration dates when you share Google folders and Google files. Files will be including sheets and docs and slides and any other anything else is stored in your Google Drive. But before I show this with you, please do me a favor. If you like this content, hit the like on the YouTube video. If you have a question about this content, comment on the video and ask me any question. I promise I'll answer it. And if you like this overall program of the ultimate guide to Google Drive sharing, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, because I have a lot more content coming. How do you set expirations on sharing in Google Drive? Well, first of all, you can't do this in free Gmail. I come back to my free Gmail, I click on this and I want to share it. I type in someone's name, Teddy Burris at Gmail. Under expiration, under excuse me, under here I have view, commander, and editor. There is no expiration when you share through free Gmail. However, if I come back to business uh, Google Workspace, the business version, and I take a file and I want to share a file, I hit the share button right here, and I type in a name, Teddy Burris at Gmail. Look here. I can give it viewer, commenter, editor, and I can add an expiration date, and I can change that expiration date to whatever day I want. Actually, I can also change it to a specific time and hit done. And now when I share this file with teddyburris at gmail.com, that, that sharing will end on February 20th at 6 a.m. That happens to be, in this case, February 20th, 2025, because that's the, the year we're in. Sharing with expiration dates in Google Drive. You can only have expiration dates if you're using Google Workspace. It does not work if you're using free Gmail. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy, and I hope this is helpful for you.